Hello, everybody, and welcome to the season six PMA LCS. Hashtag draft me. Hashtag draft me. Tonight. Hashtag draft all of us. Yeah. So tonight on the casting, for uh, just for some, some fun discussion, we have myself, Mr. Matthew702, and I am joined by... Hi, I'm Guy Fieri. Yeah. And I... And I am the big Gan Wiener. Gan Wiener! So yeah, we got the draft coming to you live and on five, which is a saying I just made up. Uh, first and foremost, a few things I want to shout out. Huge shout out to Bicer gifting away five tier one subs. Uh, that's dope. Thanks, buddy. Um, yes. Necro guy, two months with Twitch Prime, saying draft Eric as a response to me with my 24 months, saying don't draft me. So don't do this to me, Necro. <laughs> I don't want to play in Red Division. I, I'm, I don't want it. I don't want it. Mm. So, um, so I bring the draft to you. Come on, come in live. Uh, five, uh, as I said. I, I, however, would love to be in the Red Division. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so. Mm. Um, to kind of get prepped and started into it, I earlier today asked all of the captains to give me a little bit of a rundown about kind of some of the draft strategy and see what they're looking for. Um, we have an interesting situation for this one, which is that I think Justin and Maya are drafting from the same location <laughs> because they are both in Wisconsin getting ready for Justin's wedding. Um, Justin didn't. By actually... the way, congratulations, yeah! Justin! Congratulations! congratulations. Woo! Get me um, stuff. Justin didn't actually send me anything, so um, I don't have much on him, but I do know... Wait, don't tell Abby to wait, like, two minutes. Um, I do know that I, I'm pretty sure Justin's looking at a Bear Jr. first pick, um, and I think in an ideal world, he's going to look to try and get OP in some capacity because they want to play together so badly. Um, looking at then whoever our second pick is, our second pick is Violet Sissu Cat, one of the the premier players in the league. Uh, Allie said that um, she just people who really have a, a 
who really have a high drive to win, uh, but that positive mental attitudes that listen well are really important for her. Um, so if that fits your bill, there you go. Starcraft mm. is also in an interesting situation for this draft. He is apparently at some at a concert of some sort seeing Matt and Kim, who I don't know who they are, but apparently they're a thing. Um, it's their 10-year anniversary show or something. Again, I did not know any of this. But. Also, Chad Peng was on a date right now. I don't think he's a captain. Oh, but... he's, on, he's on date number two. Oh, nice. Uh, Go. First thing so, first. So, so yeah. StarCraft has his idea for who he wants to have be his first pick, and then he's got... Um, He's given some things over to the bong to have him help and piece together a team for StarCraft. Um, but what he said as far as what he's looking at, um, he, he likes lane flexibility and saying how almost every top player can flex roles, which kind of models up pick band, which is kind of nice. He likes that ability too. Um, he says, especially with solo experience changes, ADC changes, and huge jungle changes in the coming season, he needs mechanically skilled players and resilient players over someone who's good at one or two things. So that's what the StarCraft is really looking at. Then we got Frank. Frank says he looks for availability. Off what I know, flexibility is always a plus. Champ pools only matter after I've picked a few people. Non-tilters and a team that wants to try. Winning isn't a must, but trying does. Or trying is. If it comes down to three levels of rank between players, I may fudge those rules. what he said. So... Uh, then we got the Maie, um, <laughs> who I like his response. He says, TBH, whatever drunk me thinks is best is what I go with. That's honestly <laughs> a, I sol- a, so- a solid plan, Maie. <laughs> he also said that he's going to first pick Greg, but I'm like 90% sure he was hard memeing at the time because then he added Greg to our chat. And so it became a thing. But hmm. um, And then the last but not least, we have the Vitalis Decius as they call them, uh, says, I like drafting people I enjoy memeing with and having a good time, and explicably we, we then pop off for no reason, sometimes. And sometimes we just eat shit but have fun. So, so those are your similar. six captains drafting teams for you this evening. So it'll be uh, You similar. see the draft board, you see who's on it, you see the players on it. Um, so without further ado, unless you guys have anything else we wanted to kind of intro with, I think I'm going to give Lavi the okay to go. Yeah, I say I say we go for it. I think Vitalis is going to draft something similar to his his summer team of uh, what was it? L, uh, like Sasuke or L sixty nine Sasuke L- defense. Yeah, yeah, whatever the heck that team name. was. Whatever that stupid long ass name was. Um, <laughs> I but, remember a time when we were like, no team tags longer than three letters, and now we've like L- had like L- a million that are longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. And they had an anal, that one. Hey, huge thanks to Sayato. Tier 3 sub, 29 months. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for the support. This is this is incredible. But Oh, and I missed uh, Rob Rod. Tier 1 sub for 18 months. Said if I don't get drafted top division, I'm going to get shit-faced at Justin's wedding, which I think is going to happen anyway. But Sayato also said these captains stanky. You know? Uh, Neil the Steel with the Twitch Prime subscription. Sir Everett's Tier 2 subscription. All right, we have, oh, we we have, have first a first pick. pick. Which is Bear Jr. by It's hey! Boy. So kind of what we called out. I think that is the best pick there. Um, arguably, maybe even inarguably, the best player in our league. Makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Real quick, before we get going, I just want to catch up on uh, draft notif- or, uh, no- <laughs> sub notifications. Garfield Juice, tier one, eight months. Says, Hashtag draft me a six. So there we go. Oh, and an end steady with the Twitch Prime sub. So now we're all caught up. I don't know how to do. Oh, there it is. Can one of you guys watch the chat with Labby? Yeah, yeah I, I got it. I'll got watch it. Twitch and keep track that way, and that way uh, I can I'll, just. I'll just be board editor, just to make it simpler. Perfect. That sounds great. So, where do we think Violet Sociat's going with the well, I I know where I think she's gonna go, but what are you guys think? I have a strong feeling that you're either gonna see Theatrics taken, or you may see Boston. See, I think it's different. I think it's Legends MK, and I think oh, Ali that... has always been lauded for being this really good shot caller and a really good macro play. But I think if Ali doesn't have to worry about that and she can just turn her brain off and just be mechanically really strong, mm-hmm. um, that might be nice because Legends has that. He has that same macro level um, acumen that Ali would bring to a team. So I think we'll, I guess we'll see how it goes. I imagine. All right. I'll, oh yeah, go ahead. For our second pick, we have Legends MK. Where is he? Mid top. Or mid mid first one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Thank you. So huge. So Legends MK is the pick. 
that team already super scary. You've got um, kind of the old school best macro player and the new school best macro player kind of joining forces. You're going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya and be the best team. <laughs> I think this signifies one of two things. I think Ali is either going to play support and throw Legends mid, or it'll be Ali mid with Legends in jungle. Um, either way, I think it's a really strong setup. Or, um, honestly, I think it, it could be just a giant flex. True. Flex they, don't have to, they don't have to set roles. It can be, we'll figure it out every thick band. That's very true. So if they ban, like, Thresh, Alistair, Morgana, Ali can just go mid. That's true. Looks like we're possibly having a third pick. And it's going to be StarCraft coming up next. I don't know what he's looking at for his pick. Um, here, I... Ooh. He is picking General Dill. General which is Dill, who is Lolly on the plane. Hentai. He's in Flex. Lolly he's Hentai. In... Where's Flex? Oh, down the bottom. Uh, there there you is. go. Lolly um, an interesting pick. Wait. I... I don't see it. It's Lolly Lolly Hentai Police. Yeah, Lolly Hentai. Oh, man. Yes. Y'all got to use the same. Oh, what anyway. um, um, Words. I think that's. I think I'm it's a solid pick. pick. I don't. I mean, I think Lugo, I think Lugo is also would have been a good pick there, but I think I think Lolly Hentai is also a good pick because typically, um, like I've seen I've seen him play in like you know his typical preferred role seem to be support and or top, and if you put him top lane, oh we have the fourth pick already. Fourth pick yeah, is Boss Tone. Like, okay, yeah, because I was gonna say I knew what the fourth pick was gonna be. I was gonna be super, super shady about it, but uh, Frank did tell me that he's looking at Boss Tone's first pick. I didn't get any much of a big reason why, but I think it ties back into the reasons why Frank wanted, but into reasons, uh, sorry, into the things that Frank looks for when he's drafting. Yeah. Um, so this leaves Lugo still on the board, um, which is kind of not what we were expecting from a lot of the mock drafts. Lugo is pretty much going in the first four across all of the mock drafts. I fully expect this will be, this is Lugo going to Maye, but I guess we'll just find out. I think if, if there's another pick, if it's not Lugo, I wouldn't be surprised to see C-Van go next. Or, you know, if, if it's a meme, they'll take Kaligi. <laughs> I think C-Van's another good pick here. I think um, Maya, Maya, Maya's going to want people uh -oh. who play really fast and really loose, and I think that fits Lugo very well here. Yeah. Um, and Maya's a jungler. Lugo will do anything but jungle. That's true. Kind of fits! <laughs> That's true. Uh oh, we it seems that we have. It's like we're having a pick coming in, and you were correct. It is Lugo. Where is he on this? this He's also thing? flex. Yeah. Oh, that explains it. Okay. So, so now this is Lugo going over to Maye. Uh, a lot of explosive play. For them. It's not necessarily the most consistent play. They are known for very high peaks and lower lows, um, but their highs could make them the best jungle mid duo, assuming that Lugo goes mid. It could make them the best jungle mid duo in this league. I would, just because of those highs. Yeah, I think that's a good point. So I think now that kind of opens the door for Maya to have a little more freedom with the rest of the draft. And going, New Cap a Turk. Ooh, oh, my town is let's, taking in let's slow, let's slow it down a hot second. And uh, so if, if, once the pick comes in, just let me know it's in, and then you can just... All right. The next pick. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So do it. Let's hear it. I did Let's it. hear your Vanna White. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And the next pick is <laughs> New Kappa Turk. Now we're now we're in business. Now that's what you want. Okay, I can do Hell that. Hell yeah. I can do that. All right. I, I did not understand before. I think that, that's what I want. I want the, what's the uh, energy. Okay. The I, energy, you want I just you made. want full tenor choir teacher Maybe. drama i can give it to you <laughs> Maybe not full like maybe like 60 anyway no um, you get all or nothing <laughs> fair enough so new cap Turk, very good player um i don't know where this is going to set them up to play but this gives so much flexibility like like we were talking with pilot social cat legends okay two players who could pretty much play wherever you could throw new cap of support you could throw him jungle you could throw him mid vitatis could play any role you got a lot of flexibility there with those first two picks. And I think now we're going back to see a boy. I think this is... I, I wouldn't be surprised. So just double-checking before. We're not doing a reverse thing. It just goes back to the first as pick. As far as I know, Ooh. it's just one through six. All right. Yeah. And the next pick is in for our seventh pick. For Titsya Boy, it's 
Gerg Seven. Gerg Seven going in the first pick of the second round. I'm not at all surprised by this. Justin loves Greg as a person and likes likes playing video games with him. Um, and you bring back Bear and Gerg Seven, who just won a title with Blake Mababwe last season. So a really good choice to have on your team for that synergy, even just that. Yeah. Though it is it is to be noted that he does apparently want to play jungle. We'll see if that actually happens. He has actually switched over to flex. He said, I'm willing to play wherever. Okay. Just don't first pick me for jungle. That's pretty much what Greg said. So. Mm. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, see how it's, we'll see how it's your boy uh, adjusts to that to see if, if he's actually going to run him jungle, if he's going to say. Eh. Out of curiosity, how did they pick the order? Like was it's your boy ranked. first it because, because it's because he's ranked. getting married? Is it like it's yeah, because here's of, your because here's your marriage? So we, so we none of us have money. Here's your gift for your impending marriage. You get to pick first. Wait, his gift is he has to play with Bear Junior and Greg Seven. That's a shitty wedding. Oh right? my god, dude, the flame! <laughs> Holy moly! No, it's because it's it's by I think it's like solo. It's whatever, mm. whoever's the the lowest rank of the captains is the first pick, all the way up to the highest rank. <laughs> and so Violet Sociocat is next, and I would not be surprised to see this pick be Juice Me Daddy. Um, yeah, I, would... I think I think Ali is the captain that he would play top lane for. So let's see. For our eighth pick by Violet Sociocat, we have Juice Me Daddy. I'm a prophet. I called it. Um. And this still even allows for a lot of flexibility because now this opens up a alley support Caleb mid Legends jungle option, which again is still really good. Legends and Juice Me Daddy could it would also be a very strong two v two mid jungle. Um, not I don't think quite as strong as Mage and Lugo, simply based on I think Lugo's champion pool is a little bigger than Juice Me Daddy's, but I think it's still really strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're left with some. We're left with a lot of. Still pretty good uh, options. For our ninth pick by StarCraft, it's C-Van. C-Van going ooh, over ooh, to StarCraft. Ooh. And this is right. where he... he I'm not talking like well this anymore. <laughs> That's fine. He did pretty well what he was looking for for his first two picks. And again, he's not... I don't know if he's actually here drafting or if it's picks. That, yeah, it looks like he's not actually there drafting. So it's a little, little weird, little scuffed, but it'll work. So now on to panic at the top hat. I don't Did, know where he's he apparently here. left. He left like a list for yeah, that's what he whoever. Was for it was to Menbung. I wouldn't be surprised to see Chad Penguin go here. I could even see theatrics. I think. Frank and you Boy, are correct. It is in fact Chad Penguin. Wow. Well, oh, so he's locking up the the Penguin Tone boss lane or the bot bot lane. <laughs> I can't words. Um, that makes actually a lot of sense. I think they play together a lot. There's a lot of built-in synergy in that bot lane. Um, and so it's going to be a little bit different look for Frank's team from past drafts, where Frank has always prioritized really strong top side. He's first picked a jungler the last two splits. Um, now he's switching up a little bit, looking in at a bot side focused team, potentially, which could be interesting to see, could, to see, especially with where the meta is going, where bot lane might not be as high a priority. So. Yeah, and I think it's particularly interesting to put a lot of focus in the bot lane, but I do think you still need these mechanically like gifted bot laners who can who will adapt to the meta pretty well. And knowing knowing That's how true. well Chad Penguin kind of like plays and adapts to whatever is going on at the time, I'm I'm not typically I'm not kind of surprised by that, but I am surprised if, to see the bot lane preference. If it does turn into a bruiser bot meta, like a lot of people are thinking, he does have good experience on bruisers. That's a lot of what he plays. With top lane so it could work out really well actually all right for our 11th pick we have rafal rafal going over to team maya doing the inverse of what frank has done um and locking up a really strong top side and again um getting somebody who's really aggressive in lane uh, a really forward playing player he knows that he will always have pressure top and mid to be able to do whatever he wants on the top half of the map which is going to be really nice for him looking forward into the season. Yeah, and I think that's going to be essential to his team because, I mean, we've seen it historically that Maya is more of a proactive jungler, tries to get, like, his his in, like his in solo lanes ahead. Um, not that he doesn't focus bot side, but, like, his his two preferences are the... Yeah. Oh, and all those right. are two very lanes that you 
very easily gank, maybe camp, maybe dive. So, uh, for our twelfth pick, it is my boy Slaga. Slaga, he's so cool. hot and so cool. Hot oh my cool. god. I want to own a team with Vitalis and Odysseus. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think these are three personalities that could really mesh well together. They mm -hmm. just like to have fun, which aligns very well with what and Chris said before the draft. Is he wants to pick people who he can have fun playing with, and I know that he will do that on that team thus far. Slaga is is so chill at all mm -hmm. times. He's so chill, um, and he really like he play his rank is under what his abilities are. I think he's plat now, but yeah, even still, I think he could easily get to high plat. Our 13th pick is Kamik. Come in. Kamik. Kamik. 13th, 13th, uh, 13th, 13th, 13th pick is another one of my boys, Theatrix. Yeah. Theatrix dropping into the third round of this draft really surprises me um, with how deep the jungle, not how, with how kind of shallow <laughs> the jungle pool can look. Not saying there's not good junglers there, but there's not many junglers there. Right. So I'm surprised that that's the first priority. I think now this round we're going to see a lot of junglers picked. I think you're going to see Drupal go. I think you might see Alert from Elk and Frontlash go. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of those players picked up in this round for teams not named Maye because he's a jungler. So. Yeah, So, I, but I also think there's a lot of flexibility. <clears throat> like, you know, we do we do see Legends already taken. We see... True. Um, we see, well, the anti-police taken. He can juggle very effectively. We have a Turk, same deal. Yeah, like these 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 players who are incredibly flexible. Like we don't know if they're if it's gonna just be their you know the draft their draft intent was let me draft people who are mechanically skilled so that when this adaptation to the new season comes, like they can they can understand the meta and probably like and fit into it just as well. Whereas you have people that are focused on jungle and don't really have that like deep flexibility. I think like I think part of this season, at least the way that it looks right now, part of this season's like strategy is going to be like all right let me get people who have like a, a macro a very good macro understanding and are able to adapt to what these major changes are going to be let's see okay so we're looking at a next pick for violet sociocat um i would expect this to be an 80 carry maybe freedom penguin maybe op um, maybe even Fudgy Ditters. I Fudgy. think that's going to be the route that Ali goes um, here. But I guess we'll just find out. Oh, baby. All right. We have a 14th pick, and it is the one, the only, Necro Guy. Oh, Ren or I'm just dead wrong, and that's okay. Ren Ren Necro Guy, a really solid top laner. Some, some say Necro Guy is getting nerfed in this next preseason because... Conqueror is getting nerfed, and Spear Shojin is being removed. Um, but he's still really strong. He's still a really strong player, regardless of not being able to just lean on those Bruiser-type picks as easily. Um, so Yeah, and I think that's something that's kind of um, underestimated. And he made a really good point in his uh, his draft me post. Um, in, during during the last split, he had like 2.8, on average, 2.87 bands. So like three bands. That's very a true. Game targeted at him. So when That's, you have yeah. when you have that problem as a top laner and you're drawing all those bands, that literally frees up the rest of your lanes and the rest of your capability. And looking at this team, Violet, you know, we know that Alley's and Malza Harmony. We know that like Legends is gonna be really good at diversity wherever he goes, and same thing with Juice Me Daddy. So these deep pools are gonna be really good. Absolutely. So the next pick is gonna be StarCraft again, uh, working on bubbles of champions and Menbung is gonna be finding the best fit for him at this point. I don't know where he's going to go with this one. He might look into a jungler here. If he's not looking to have Dylan play jungle, he could look in at a D. All right, uh, the next pick is in. It is Fudgy Ditters. And so that's the route he goes. He goes into the AD carry pool. Uh, that's really the only person who I think is him and Sivan, I think, lock up AD carry in mid now. So then you're looking, I think, Next round, StarCraft will look... I, I'm pretty sure he's going to play support. He'll be looking at, am I going to have a better jungler or a better top laner? Pick the better of the two roles, and then throw Dylan in the other. That's my guess. Yeah, and I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think there's I think there's a lot of potential still. I mean, obviously we all, we all know C-Van. I think C-Van's also been practicing jungle. You know, he's been running it down on Master Yi a couple games that I've played with him. But uh, 
I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. He's a pretty good Master Yi player, but uh, Master Yi is also kind of brain dead. Steve, it's, very, it's, all, it's also very easy to hard end on Master Yi, so like that's that. It's it's the the high risk high reward play style. So now we're on a panic at the top hat. I think he takes a jungle here. I think he takes Drupal. That's my my guess. Well, that he, pick is in. So let's see. It is Juice Me Mommy. Oh wow, Juice Me Mommy instead. Um, maybe picking. Well, this adds an interesting wrinkle because he could be. This could be Frank saying, "I'm gonna go play top lane this split." He could also throw Juice Me Mommy into the mid lane. He's got very flexible. He's got a lot of flexibility with those two solo lanes. Yeah. Um, so then on to. Oh, go ahead. I think it's an interesting choice to leave up um, jungle unless because I have not seen how well Panic at the Top Hat can play jungle nor Juice Me Mommy. I know that I don't think those are either of their preferred roles. I think I think he's thinking maybe he'd be fine with Drupal Front Lash or Allergic to Melt, and mm. I don't. I think he's thinking that he will have a chance at one of the three. That is my guess That's on weird. his mindset there. Uh, I can't speak for him. That's just my estimation. Mm -hmm. So then we're on to the Maie, uh, looking to lock down his bot lane. I kind of expect this to be Biscuit Hat. I think he'll be able to get a good AD. I think there's still four on the board who would be really solid picks for his team. Um, and, and so I think that he'll get a chance at one of those four. And so then he's looking at uh, <coughs> Sorry. support and looking at maybe a Biscuit Hat here. That's yeah, I think, I think that'd make a lot of sense. All I right. Think. The 17th pick is in. And it's Opie. So it's actually going to be Opie. So, again, I'm wrong. You can't be right all the time. Listen, listen, if we were right all the time, we should be fortune tellers. No <laughs> No kidding. Um, wasn't that what look, casters look, are? if you were right all the time, you could just buy some lottery tickets and then pay off my student loans. That's, that's big I brain. Love the idea. That's big brain. So and then y'all can keep the rest. I really don't care after that. So picking up Opie, um, is your boy going to be sad? He's not going to get to play with him, but it happens. Uh, that really locks down uh, another pretty aggressive player. Opie likes to play forward in lane when he can. It's just going to be a matter of who does he get to go with him at support. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Then we're on to Vitaldus Dedesius. He's got Ooh. new Turkey. He's got Slaga. I think this pick is where it determines what role Chris mostly so wants to play. Before, but... before I announce it, do you have any predictions? Um, well, I saw it already, so I'm not going to predict. I saw that oh, one. all right. <laughs> well, I should turn, turn it off. So it. Turn it off. All right. <laughs> the uh, 18th pick is Jupal. So locking up a jungler. I think this this solidifies that he's going to have New Capitark play mid, and he's going to play AD carry with Slaga, and so he's going to be looking for a top laner next round. And there's, there's it's more options. it's less likely that he gets Jupal next round, and it's and I think of the four top laners at the top of the top lane pool. They're all pretty interchangeable, so you kind of are okay with whichever one of the four you get. So I think that's the route he's going. Hey, just bring back. Oh, I want to see. I want to see its boy bring back a KB special. Listen, there's one. There's one player in particular <laughs> right now that is still available. I want to see it. Well, see, boy needs a top laner, and the question is, is he going to take Kaligi and really like be Kaligi Mobile Boy too? Is he going to take Guy Fieri and make us be? Grab them by the Teemo too. <laughs> is he going to take Uncle Jemima and make it be Seven Deadly Sins too? Like, there's so many different options that he can take based on past playing with this team already. Yeah. All right. It looks like this pick is coming I'm gonna, in. I'm going to say Kaligi. Show me Kaligi. Come on. Guy Fury, any predictions? I'm not going to guess. I'm gonna All say, right. I'm going to say Kaligi and I'm going to look stupid. It is Clumsy Chocobo. Ooh. So is, so wait, so is this a Bear Jr.? Wait, wait a what? So, okay, so here, so Theatrix is going to probably go jungle. I think this is... I think this is Gurg I think this in a is solo a, I think lane. this is the clumsy chocobo in top. I, I think. I think it's going to be clumsy and Gurg in solo lanes. Unless your boy wants to show off his solo lane prowess. Interesting. So that, that, that'll be interesting to see. I think there's um, not a dedicated top lane in the scene, but more so the ability to throw anybody into top lane, which could be kind of interesting to see how it I mean, they have. It seems to me they have a lot of flex in general on their team. Uh, with, with the exception, I think, being Justin, who's... I guess Justin could play AD. 
and then it could be Greg at support, and then Bear top lane. That could be an option too. So there's a few different options with that team. Um, now we're on a Violet Sociate Cat who's looking for an AD carry, most uh, likely, unless she does something really off the wall. Um, I, and I, I think th it's going to be Freedom Penguin. I think that's the best pick here for her. I'm going to disagree. I think I think Violet Sociate Cat is going to take Spooked. You think it's gonna be spooked over freedom? Yeah, because I know, I know, based on my experience, what I know is that Ali and uh, Ali and Spooked have been playing together a little bit like recently, oh. and I know they've been kind of working on synergy. So I'm not gonna guarantee. I'm not going to guarantee that, but I'm going to throw out my best. That's gonna be my best prediction. Is like, I don't think Freedom Penguin is a. I think actually, I think Freedom Penguin's a really good AD. Like after seeing after seeing him in the uh, the split last season. But I also wouldn't be surprised to see Jirachi go as well. So, do we have the pick oh. yet or no? It's coming in now. Let's... I'm gonna... da, 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 da. It is... You were 100% correct. It is spooked. Wow. So, that's a good... That's so a, little bit of, a little bit of inside intel that I didn't have. Yeah, so I cheated. Nice, I, nice cheated. I think... That's and I think this is actually going to make it... It's going to be... I think it's going to be spooked by Socio Camp Outland. And I that's going to be scary. I would be uh, horrified to play against that. The the interesting thing about this team is everybody has very um they're very pocket pick oriented. Ali's got her picks that she's the best at. Necro's got his picks he's the best at. Jason Daddy, same thing. Spook, same thing. There's a lot of you just, somebody on this team is going to get their best champion and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> like it's kind of that type of team. So we'll see how that plays out as the season moves on. But now we're on a StarCraft, who I believe is looking either for the best jungler or best top laner. I think this is going to be Frontlash. Frontlash gives some synergy with Dylan, because they play together a lot. I think Frontlash, then, you can flex Dylan and Frontlash top and jungle pretty freely. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Well, gonna, it's coming in now. I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to say oh, Kaligi. Maybe not. Prediction, Kaligi. Kaligi would also make some sense here. I think he would fit in with his team very well. It though. is Rob. It's Rob. Okay, so that... Um, I think that actually tells me StarCraft bit the bullet and he's going to go top. Uh, that's my guess. Wait, <laughs> or I guess so he could jungle and he could put Dylan top. Yeah, I was going to say, that would also make sense. So, well, They could be going for a certain amount of flex as well. Yeah. That's true. I think, Rob I think... a very good pick, though. I think Rob's a very consistent player. Um, his, his lows are usually not that low. He's always pretty much relevant, whatever he's doing. Um... And he's pretty versatile as far as what he plays and where he can. So that'll be fun to see. I'm so still, on a panic. Oh, go ahead. I think there's still a lot of really strong picks up. Just to kind of throw that out there. Oh, like, there's yeah. three. There's three. There's four really strong top Ugh. laners. Like a it lot. It looks of like the jungles. twenty-second pick is coming in. So any we'll give it, let's, let's uh, take any a second and think about Frank. So Frank needs a jungler. I think this is going to be allergic to milk. I think Frank really likes playing with Sal. I think Sal fits the bill for what Frank would want in a jungler, somebody who's just going to do what the team needs, and he's just going to have fun playing no matter what. So I think this is going to be allergic to Mel. That makes sense. Mr. Matt, any other predictions? Uh, I already saw it, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> All right, it is, in fact, allergic to milk. Perfect. So that team, very strong, very fun, very good personalities on it. Uh, some flexibility with his solo lanes. Sal has a lot of flexibility as well. He can literally play any role. And he's just as good as if he's in his main role of support. Um, so that'll be really nice to see him getting a chance to interact with the rest of the members on this team. So now we're back to Maya. And I think this goes back to your point, Guy Fieri, that he needs a support. I am, And I think it's Biscuit Hat. I think it's 100% Biscuit Hat. I agree. If it's, if, it's not, if it's not Biscuit Hat, I would be very surprised... But I could see one of the other people I could see maybe filling in the role would be Super Hoagie, because I think true. I, I think like paired with I, I have a feeling it's going to be Rafal AD. Or no, it's going to be Opie. Opie's AD. Um, I oh. think I think Opie yeah. and and Hoagie would probably the way that their play styles. I think they would mesh pretty well. Um, I definitely think Opie person not Hoagie personality wise would fit in really well with this team. I think Joe would as Ho well. Hoagie gets along with everybody. Exactly. That's, that's a, that is a fact. And I know that he and Maya are really close. Uh, so it could it could go either way on that. I think it's between so, those two. So I, will I will say that if, I, if, if, if Hoagie gets drafted 
and I don't get and and then like if he gets drafted, which means he won't be in the lower division, and I don't get that I don't assuming I don't get drafted either, which is probably not going to happen at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, cry. <gasps> okay. Anyway, um, then that just completely ruins the dream of being Hoagie on a team, and so I'll be sad. Yeah, that that does sound pretty sad. But I I think this see this is coming down to like what do you need, and it's like there's a lot of other really good. Like, I think the support pool is very, like, a lot of the support players are pretty close in skill level. Um, like, obviously, I think Biscuit has the one that sets himself apart um, by rank. But yeah. then I think after that, like, the I, I know for a fact Hoagie is a very good support to play against because I had to play against him <laughs> in, in Summer Split. Like he, like, he is very mechanically skilled on the champions that he feels very comfortable with, you know. And, he, and he's, very good and at, he's very good in a team setting because he's really good at old listening. That's, that's Opie's biggest, Opie. that's yeah. Hoagie's biggest strength, I think, as a player, is you can really mold him mm-hmm. and develop him into something else, so. Yeah. But do we have the pick-in yet? We do nope. not. Okay, I, so, Maya, taking some time to think about it, thinking through the options. Oh, Maybe he's listening to our commentary and going, <laughs> oh, those are some really good points. Now, the one thing that I did not mention is there is still a chance that he sends Lugo support and picks a mid laner. I don't think that will be what happens, but there is that chance. If I mean, that does the, happen, then I think he takes Nate. I mean, or Ganwin, because, you know, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> the big dick Ganwiner. Um, I don't know, but like now that we've oh, kind of... Talk through Maye, like we've we've seen with that. So let's let's kind of I don't want to get too far ahead, but also Mudkips. Like we could talk we could talk Mudkips could be the the filler for Maye. I, I I the the biggest thing about Mudkips that he brings as a player is flexibility. He can really perform in pretty much any of the roles, and he'll do the same like level <laughs> that he would do in the other roles. That was a weird way to say that, but. He, he, him in top is not much different than him in jungle versus mid versus AD to support. Uh, so he's a really all around player in that capacity, which could be nice to have on a team, having that flexibility. If Molly's like, I'm playing mid, John go jungle. Like he has that and option. It, it's also, it's really hard to ban against a team that can have players who have different champ pools in different ranks. Like, oh, let's say uh, that the, the uh, Rafal's top laners all got banned out. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying Rafal will be one of the ones who switch. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Yeah. But I, um, you know, or let's let's say Lugo's champ mid champs all get banned out. So he throws Mudkip's mid. Lugo goes into support role, and then it's like they wasted a bunch of bands. Exactly. It's it's part of the part of the. I I was a captain for both a locked role split and an unlocked role split. When I did my draft for the lock roll split, my last two rounds, I pretty much knew where I was going in both of them. Because I wasn't looking for somebody who was flexible. I needed somebody who played the role that I needed to fill. All right. The, the pick next is draft. In. The pick is in. I just, can I just finish that point so I don't have to Yeah, go. All right, fine. The next draft, when we were open, free draft, I picked a lot of flexible guys. And even my last two picks were still pretty flexible. And, and I was really just focusing on... The, having the ability in champ select to go wherever I want as a team. So anyway, next pick for Maye. It is front lash. So it's front lash. So that to me, I think that is gonna be Lugo at support, Maye in mid, and front lash at jungle. That's what I think. I think that pick makes some sense. I think front lash is a very good player, and he's huge value this late in the draft. I'm surprised he didn't go earlier than this, to be honest with you. Kind of like Freedom Penguin. Again, I'm surprised Freedom Penguin's still on the board. Um, oh, so Biscuit Hat. Yeah. And, and Biscuit Hat. There's a lot of players who I'm surprised are still up at this point in the draft. Um, it's just a question of what is Maya going to... I think this is Lugo support. I really do. Listen, all I ask is we see if, if it is Lugo support, I just want to see Vagar. And like Vagar one trick, <laughs> Vagar one trick support. I could respect that. I could respect that. If so, they let him have it, that's true. Moving on to the last pick, we have Vitalis to DCs. He's got a support and a jungler. We know it's that. Com- we know that that's what those. It's Kaligi. It's got to be Kaligi, dude. Big well, dick Kaligi. It looked like it's coming in. Big dick Kaligi. I, I think it's gonna be Kaligi as well because I think this is he's looking for a top laner. 
and I think he's Kaligi fits the bill for what Utatis would want in a drafty. Same as with like Drupal, same as with Slaga. It's just good personalities who are fun to play League of Legends with. Um, Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Last pick. The last and by definition least (laughs) pick of the night is Kaligi. Hey, so it's Kaligatron. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I am very excited. Um, actually, I'm really excited for for this division in general. Um, this is this is gonna be really strong. I think right now, just kind of looking across the board, um, I think the team that kind of scares me the most is actually gonna be Violet Sociocan's team. I am like, there's a lot of very strong players on there, and that is what like like very strong individual players. Um, yeah. And that is what I want to see. And I'm very excited for that. I think the teams are actually really pretty well balanced. We've got Suboy's team who has a lot of playmaking and a lot of carry potential. Um, even with like Suboy on something like a Pike, every member of that team could, could hard carry a game easily. Same thing with Violet Sociocat's team. Same thing with Starcraft's team. Same thing with Vanek's team. Like, all of these teams have so many carry positions and carry players. It's just going to be a matter of finding the right comps and the right strategies that work for them and the right play styles that work for them. Yeah. So, like, now that we kind of had this full thing, let's just take, like, I don't know, let's take a couple minutes just to kind of talk about it because, like, I'm really, I'm really excited for... Just like for me personally, as a support, I'm looking at the bot lane matchups, and if I'm and if I'm seeing this as it is, it's gonna be Bear and your boy. It's gonna be Spooked and Violet Sosio Cat. It's gonna be, I don't know. It's probably gonna be Fudgy Ditters and I don't know. That Starcraft team is, is kind of where I'm like I'm not entirely. It's either sick. I think it's either Fudgy and Starcraft or Fudgy and Rob. I think it's more likely it's Fudgy and Rob. Um, yeah, and that would, that would make sense. And then for Panic at the Top Hat, it's going to be Boss Tones and Chad, and that is a, that is a bot lane, like, individually. That's, probably, that's uh, right now, that's the best bot lane. If other teams can get a lot of synergy going with their bot lane, I, I think they could contest that. Or if Tsuboy decides to throw Bear and Gurg together in the bot lane, that would be, that would contest it. Yeah. I don't think that's what's going to happen in that team. But I think Boss Tones, Chad Penguin, best bot lane. At this point, I'm gonna. I think for my best bot lane, I'm gonna go with what I think would be Spooped and Violet Socio Cat. Particularly with the meta change, I know, and I've played with Spooped, and Spooped is trying out a lot of different and unique picks. You know, you're seeing mm-hmm. you're seeing like Thresh ADC, um, <laughs> like a lot of these Bruisers and like Mages, and if that's what the meta reverts to, I really think that bot lane is gonna be disgusting, because like Violet Socio Cat is a very strong Malzahar player. And if you put like double mage yep. bot lane with like point and click lockdown, easy. And it's just like like that bot lane becomes disgusting. <laughs> but. All right. So I'm looking to see if we have anything else from the chat that we mention. I don't think so. Yeah, correct. Um. So there's your teams. There's your red division teams. I don't know. Is is what's is lower division black division or are they go? I don't. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's black. I think we should red and black, black as well. Uh, red and gold well, is. It would be fun to say, but I mean, no one says that. So red and black. So of course, uh, it's so inverted from Overwatch League, which makes my life miserable to remember which one's which. But uh. <laughs> as your team, I talked with Labby. It sounds like they will know lower division captains by at the latest noon tomorrow. I am. Um, I am excited. So do we? Do we want to talk about um, p- potential early picks? Like first and second round picks for the lower division. Yeah, I mean, sure. Obviously, we, we, do, we don't we don't know who's gonna be captain, so it'll be really kind of hard to to do it that way. But we can certainly pick. Look well, at I think the, the strong people in each uh, category. I think top lane, you've got three pretty strong top laners. Yeah, and then it falls down from there. Um, Guy Fieri. Uh, basically, my everybody favorite. but Guy Fieri is great. Yeah, you're right. I'm trash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Guy Fieri was uh is was is was awesome to play with and you know what i would absolutely captains out there would not mind playing with them again oh uh, well i'm probably means. gonna be a captain to be honest but 
Nice. Then fucking draft me. Did you, did you sign up? <laughs> yeah. I did. Hey, same. Hey. Um, so I'm I'm looking at this as well, and like my mentality, and um, just if if I do get picked to be captain, I kind of want to give some insight to like what I look for. Yeah, um, do it. And it's, it's it's very similar to Vitalis. I'll say that I want a team that like wants to have fun, but I also want the goal of the team to be like per, like personal progression throughout the season. So mm-hmm. play, and I know that there are players that like are are very skilled already that I think. Like for me personally, I could learn a lot from. Like if you're not a captain, um, Gaffieri, I like you're like you're kind of macro game at least from the games that I've watched, like f- and casted from the past seasons. Like watching you play, <laughs> like historically, you, like it seems like you're shot calling and like leading the charge as to where to go. Same thing with Uncle Jemima. So I think both of those, as well as well as Labby, I think Labby's a very strong like pick to look forward to in the. Uh... The, the interesting thing is how few junglers we have left, and I'm looking at. Opposite roles. I'm thinking about people who could also play jungle. I um, I have a pocket have to, pick for jungle. I'm gonna say that. Is it Tarek? No, oh, I'm not gonna play okay, jungle. Thank um, God. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. No, 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 no. It's actually one of the players on the board. Um, and and I've, I know this. Oh, you meant yeah. You meant, no, this is an uh, actual person for jungle. Yeah, it's, it's an actual. I it's understand. an actual player. So I know this. I know this brother in particular personally. Um, like we went to the same chapter. Awesome Where are you guy. from? Um, I'm from Omicron New, which is Christopher Newport. Um, Wait, and, is that out in like Jersey area? Uh, Virginia. Close. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. No, you're, you're good. good. So I know that this particular player um, is very skilled in like three in three roles that he really like he really oh. enjoys. So I'm just kind of keeping that in my bank pocket and keeping it myself. Um, That's smart. <laughs> I'm also very surprised to see. There's a couple people I'm really surprised to still see. Up. Um, one of them is Biscuit Freedom. Hat. Yeah, Biscuit Hat and Freedom Penguin. I think are the two that. A lot of people were expecting would go in this draft. Yeah, and it, it's it's not to say that like captains made bad picks. I think all the picks were good. I just it's not what I expected. I think Freedom Penguin's gonna be if he's not a captain, an early pick in this draft. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the lower division draft, I think. Um, yes, probably, he's probably just, biscuit he's hat. Just a, he's just a good eighty carry. He's just mechanically solid. Um, mm-hmm. He can play more than Caitlin, even though that's like his go to. Think he plays. Yeah. Um, I think Biscuit has strong there. Biscuit has has, um, he's really strong on Nautilus. He's got good brand. His Leona? brand messed me up when he played against me. Oh Leona's God. good. Yeah, his Leona is um, clean, dude. If we look at the, uh, we've gotten them all over the place. And that's I'm okay. also if another thing then, I'm very surprised about is is Jirachi because when I when I first came into the like into the casting scene here, Jirachi was one of those like really high impact. And obviously, there's a meme, you know, frontline frontline Riley. Um, but mechanically, like, Jirachi is solid. And that's kind of what surprised me is you have, and like all of these ADCs that were drafted are in, like this ADC pool is incredibly strong. And that's kind of what like is, is really like a wow factor to me. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm actually kind of baffled with how like good it is. Like Mm -hmm. a lot of these players are so mechanically like adept at their champions and they know what they're doing and it's awesome i think the reason why jirachi didn't get drafted is simply because they had a lot of time where they weren't playing league because they were off doing dci stuff yeah um, and that's and that's and a, i think so so i'm not saying that that time away would like make them a worse player uh, but they're definitely not at their peak at the moment but i think jirachi and freedom penguin are the are huge picks going into the lower division draft. Very strong. I think Nate will be very strong from mid. I think Ganween as well. I don't know much about PB, PMB Mercury. Pimp Monkey, really solid mid laner. Mudkips is still on the board who can go pretty much anywhere. You're looking at yeah. Labby and Jungle is really solid. You, like the three junglers left, you have Labby who's really solid, Borkfius who's um, a, a strong player, maybe has lower lows than Labby, but a strong player, and Arian who's very experienced and a really strong jungler was a really wide champion. Um, so you've got not a lot of depth at jungle, but you've got good players at that role. Mm-hmm. The question is going to be of the rest of the picks, who are the other three junglers? Gonna be? I, no, wouldn't, and, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Super Hoagie thrown in there because I've seen Hoagie play. Super from... Hoagie doesn't, would not jungle. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. Riven, Riven jungle I, question mark? Hey, yeah, hey Hoagie, if I you're think, watching, I Riven think jungle? That, I think N Steady will get picked from jungle. I think he's a solid jungler. I think so, I might play jungle. I've been debating it. So there's some options. Ooh, out there. Hey, listen, I want to see some clean, like, super jungle. 
<laughs> play Sivir in every role. You played it, listen, you played it mid lane. I want to see it in the jungle. Hey, I, hey, did you, you play did you see the game that I played at top lane? No, I didn't. You played what? You played top, I where picked is it top lane and played it into a clan. It was in hey, LCS. You know how we had Log play Morgana in every role? Yeah. You should get a champion that every player on the team plays at least once. Tarek, in the So, Big wait, brain. so let's, let me think about this. How could I make that work? Play Tarek in every role. Tarek jungle, perfect. Well, biscuit <laughs> hat and Nautilus. Uh. <laughs> now, see, that's, that, well, I have to figure that out once again. That's big. But I, Ellie, you might be right. Most experienced jungle in LCS. I think you, because you've played every ma big split. You haven't played all the mini splits, but you played every major split, and you've like never played anything but jungle. So I think you might be right on that. You might have the most games of jungle of any PMA LCS player. Period. False. Ooh. What did you miss a split? I thought you played every major split. Interesting. Oh, so you missed the most recent one. Um, I still think even without that, well, you played, so you missed the mini split though, because you played season five, which was, uh, when you were on paw. Well, you, Frosh, you got, you got to jungle a lot with don't ban pop. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Um, you guys have anything else you want to talk about? We well, can just talk back and forth to chat. I'm, I'm. I'm down to just hang out for for one <laughs> split. Hey, but it's but it's not every time, John. So you got that going for you at least, right? That's true. <laughs> John going Farah jungle. <laughs> oh my! Plus, God. you can wait go back minute. and watch the vod. Wait. Just go to videos. Wait, time out. That's wait, Farah jungle, dude. That's big brain. The overlap. Yeah, yeah that, that's gigantic. If that were the case, I would literally just play Reinhardt every game. Oh wait, Yo, I Reinhard can just play Scion. And play it's Reinhardt. the same thing, you big brain. <laughs> I realized at one point, um, when I started playing Reinhardt, like in Overwatch, and like getting pretty good at him, mm -hmm. um, my Scion play got a lot better. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities between the two champions. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I... Alright, that's gonna go off topic. I don't wanna get into that. <laughs> no, we can't. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, unless one of the admins message us and say, why are you still streaming? I'm down to just chill and talk. That's true. I think... And then, <laughs> and then, mod abuse. Mod. I'm, man, I'm stoked. Like, both of these divisions are going to be pretty balanced. There's going to be, like, a lot of, like, really good play. I am I, stoked. <coughs> I'm trying to think who I think will be captains of the Lord. I think, I think I will. I think Labby will be. That would neither of those would surprise me. Um, I, I don't know who Nate, all signed up. I think Nate will be. I, I'm pretty. I'm guessing he signed up. Probably, possibly Hoagie. I could see Biscuit Hat doing it. I could see Hoagie doing it. I, um, hope, I hope. to I be. could see John being a captain in, yeah. in lower division. Um, I don't. I, it's hard without knowing who signed up. To be. Yeah. If I you think... sign up for a captain, and you're watching this, say so in chat. All right, so that on. we know. Hang on, wait a second. Let me go to you that. You don't have to. You're literally in the ch Nah. Nah, hey, listen. You said if you're in the chat, I'm going to listen. You, you weren't in the chat. You were in the stream. Totally I am good. I am in the chat now. Oh, Lord. Now we have to watch you go into the chat. Oh. So Garfield juiced it. I think Garfield juice would be so much fun to see the chat. Because um, he's never had that opportunity. And I think yeah. that'd be really cool to see him, see what kind of team he can put together. So I think it'd be really cool to see him do that. I think. Oh wait, yeah, Sean's in there. Sean, tell us who the cap who signed up to be captains for Lower Division. Uh, are you gonna plead the fifth here? People, People. have signed up. Ah, Thanks. That's Thanks. that's a good listen. Good call. Good call. You can't go wrong with that. Technically, he is not incorrect. <laughs> he is. He is in fact a hundred percent correct. Hello. Hola. Oh, hello, Mr. Menbong. Oh! So, oh, hang on. Looks like oh, we have... Oh. Vicer was guessing. Vicer oh. was guessing. Oh, my God. All right, let's see. Spooky kitty. Whoa, what the... What the... Oh, my God. I would love if we can find it out today, but you I know just, that's... Oh, you just scared the with... shit out well, of me, uh, Oh, my God. Oh, hey. I'm here, hey. by the way. How you doing? Hi, it's the Menbong. It's your local... Your friendly Menbong. neighborhood Menbong. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so 
So Lobby's going to have a post here. And like a minute that'll be posted. Oh, dope. So let's stay on let's stay on long enough to do that. And then maybe if Sean's willing, maybe we could do like a lower division mock draft and pass Immediately? Some fun with that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sure, why not? Uh I've never done a mock draft in my life though. What is what even is a mock you draft? You have never done a mock draft? I no. find that hard to believe. I, I hmm. so here's the thing. Um I feel like Menbung is to mock drafts what Copernicus was to astrology, like the goat? astronomy. So like the goat. So, the the goat. No, but wait, oh, that's I... that's flesh. We we can't have two the goats. No, yes, no, is, wait, the what? Goat, not the goat. Oh, the goat. This is everyone, <laughs> do a mock draft right now. <laughs> I, uh, Riot! They, the people uh, have spoken. We would get uh, so many views. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, we just have people just listening all talk. Yeah, sure. Hold on. All right, let me pull up my mock draft <laughs> that I don't have. I should say, shut, shut up. I just got a message from my town. It's yo, can I get in on this mock draft? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not, not at all. Oh, I, I said, I said, once it's happened. Rip. Um, the bug oh, might have yeah. spoken. Uh, the bug might have spoken. Okay, so uh, captains, because... captains are in. Yeah, right. John, are. so mudkips. Hero, so that's super hoagie. Myself, the labby. Nate, and biscuit. That's... So there's your six captains. That's pretty good. Which are all names that we mentioned. So so go us for guessing correctly, kind of sort of. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, pull up the actual draft board that y'all are looking at right now. And then... So, so what would be the draft order? So, I think that's actually the draft order uh, of which it, it has been posted by Labby. Um, because that's by rank again, correct? Wait, I would get the third pick? That's bust! <laughs> Hello? I mean, is it? Oh, is it yeah, though? I feel like it is. Well, I mean, I'm I mean, not complaining. Give it to me. Shit. So. Uh, so, hold on. Can you post the final teams? Yes, I can post the final teams for you. The men bone will do it. I am so tired of children right now calling in about their minty pickaxe codes for Fortnite at GameStop. So, uh, that promo's been done for like. A week? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm tired of children because I teach. <laughs> yeah, but like... I'm you tired of children because and it's, I don't and like it's, children. And it's Friday. It's so, Friday. like... Friday. I love my I love my Friday. students. I do. I love them. But it's Friday and I'm tired. Yeah, hold on. So, Lavi said that is not the draft order. And as mm. we run mock drafts, we'll provide up to captains directly. So, we don't know the exact draft order. But, I... I it's either probably going to be a hoagie or mudkips on first pick. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Well, we, okay. So we have the technology to go to op.gg yes. and just find out their rank right what? now. What? It's Listen, pretty Spongebob, crazy. We have. I think. I think. Type in a I website think, and it goes there. I think here's yeah. what we do. I think we cut this vod, call this a draft vod, go live in a second with a mock draft vod, and do That's some fair. mock drafting for the lower division. Does that makes sense. That sounds, that sounds crazy. Why That's would perfect. we do that? Right. That's perfect. By sir, perfect link. HTTPS colon backslash slash slash. That's it. Perfect link. So I think with that said, we are going to cut the stream. Uh, but we'll be back in a hot second. So Wait, let's extend it exactly five seconds so there can be an hour-long pod. Okay, Wait, we're done. an hour?